I'm Steve Rendell from Haynes Publishing. Uh, I'm looking after the Robot Wars Build Your Own Robot Manual and we're here on the set of Robot Wars in Scotland. Uh, we've asked a few of the competitors to give us an insight into what goes on behind the scenes and their experiences of building their own robots. My name's Gilbert Grimm. I'm the team captain of Team Iron Ore. My son Robert is the driver and our new grandson is uh, the third team member, but he's uh, only eight months at the moment, so he's a bit young to take part, although he's already had a play with the controller. And uh, the robot we have with us today is Iron Ore 6. Fantastic, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, well, we started in the year 2000. I gave up the art free and took up the robots. Um, my son had been watching on television and said, Dad, we could build a better robot than that. And I agreed with him, so he decided to start building. So we missed the third wars and took part in the fourth wars in the original series. And uh, by that time, everybody else had got better, so we were playing a bit of catch-up by then, but uh, we did all right. The trickiest part is deciding on the design. You look at all around all the other robots you've got to fight and think, well, how can we compensate for that and how can, we, what, how can we defend against that and what's our best form of attack. And once you've made your decisions you've then got to get all the parts together and that can be good fun um, because you don't know where to buy them from. You can't go and get a kit of parts to build a robot. You just have to buy bits and pieces from here and there and see what you've got lying about and start putting it together. And when you actually get it to work, it's pretty wonderful. The main tips was Talk to people who've already done it because it can save you a lot of time and a lot of heartache. Try and get some assistance if you can. Try and get some sponsorship if you can. Parts can be quite expensive, particularly the LiPo batteries, the chargers, um, the speed controllers. Uh, they're all quite expensive items. So I say if you can get some sponsorship or got some money available, that's pretty good. The highlight of Robot Wars is um, flipping a robot out of the arena. That's a wonderful feeling. Because once they're out of the arena, they can't hurt you anymore. Oh, we flipped Bigger Brother out of the arena in the, one of the wars. That was good fun. Um, that was sort of tipped to be the uh, winning robot that year, but uh, we spoiled their chances. But uh, then unfortunately we were taken apart by Typhoon, which was uh, a nasty spinny robot. And there's lots of them about now. Well, we originally started um, with an axe and a flipper on our robot and the axe we found was very difficult to actually hit anything because you've got to be very precise and almost get them trapped to be able to use it. So we decided the flipper was the way to go and over the years I think we've perfected the flipper and we're one of, certainly one of the best flippers 